In this video, I will show you simple ways on how to merge or combine disk partitions in Mac OS. This is applicable to any Mac OS version. Let's begin. We will open the disk utility. Press Command plus space bar on your keyboard. The Spotlight Search toolbar will open. Search for Disk Utility. You can simply enter Disk and Disk Utility will appear. You can tick on it to open. Another way is to open the Launchpad. Same process. Search for Disk or Disk Utility. Tick on it to open. Here, we can see the disk details. In the previous video, we created this disk partitions. The Files Partition and Work Partition. Before we proceed, make sure to back up all your files from the partition that you want to delete because all the files will be deleted or wipe out. Now, at the top, tick Partition. We can see here the Work Partition and Files Partition we created from the default volume which is the Macintosh HD or System Disk. For us to notice the changes, we can check the partition size. The Macintosh HD has 200 GB. The files partition has 695 gigabytes and the work partition has 100 gigabytes. Now, to delete a partition, choose the partition you want to delete by clicking on it then tick the minus sign. But before we do that, again the files partition size is 695 gigabytes. You can see that the work partition is currently selected. Now we tick the minus sign. Notice that it became 795 because the 100 gigabytes from work partition has been added. Both partitions has been merged. We can still delete more partitions if we want. In my case, I still want to delete this files partition. Once we delete this partition then the disk space will combine or merge to the Macintosh HD or the system disk. But again, make sure you back up all your files before you delete a disk partition. Again, we select the disk we want to delete by clicking on it. It will be shaded by blue then tick the minus sign. We have now one disk partition with the full disk space. We cannot delete or resize these container disk 2 and container disk 1. If in case you change your mind then you can simply choose revert. Choose cancel if you want to cancel the whole process. To save the changes, choose apply. It will tell us that partitioning the device will permanently delete all the files on the disk we just deleted. These are the work partition and files partition. Tick Partition to proceed. Wait for it to finish the process. This will take only few minutes. Operation successful. You can tick Show Details if you want to view the logs. Scroll from the top to bottom for the complete logs. Tick Done to proceed. The files and work partitions no longer available since we just deleted them. We have now one partition with the full disk space. Well, that's all for today's demonstration and I really hope you liked this video. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and click on the notification bell for more amazing tutorials. Thank you and see you in the next video.